Andy, quick, what are some of the dumbest statements in history? Ugh. And now, the sequence of events, in no particular order. Pitching is 80% of the game, the other half is hitting and fielding. Oh, and smoking kills. If you're killed, you've lost a very important part of your life. Stop. I know what I asked for, but those sound like sentences dogs would say if they thought they understood language. Are those fake? 100% real. Today's quotes are brought to you by Dan Rather, Mickey Rivers, and Brooke Shields. Thank you for those valuable quotes that have gone down in the internet archives of history as some of the dumbest things ever said. Now onto your dumb thing. Why did you forego the door and ask me to tell you dumb things? Andy, I have hereby heard the dumbest sentence ever uttered in the history of humankind. Are you sure? Because those three were pure gold. One Punch Man fighting game. And that's what would happen if you actually said that sentence for real. But I wasn't kidding. That's for real. One Punch Man fighting game. No, we're not doing that again. But it was only announced, right? There's no trailers or confirmed develop- Oh, you're pulling up a trailer. Looks like they stay faithful to the animation style of the original show. That's good. A few different characters, another good point. And we end on Boros. Wow, I didn't believe you. I thought this would be a fan-made thing, but there's Bandai Namco's seal of, yep, we're supporting it. I feel like they were reluctant because it's being developed by the same people who made Jump Force. Wow, we knew this thing would be bad, but handing development to them? That's like announcing you can only play with random people online instead of your friends, or not releasing a stylus for the touch-based UI in your game, or making Mario Kart a gacha game. Or... I, I think they get it, Andy. Anyway, this One Punch Man game is gonna and hard. And the worst part is, everyone knows it. Everyone sees why this is an awful idea. The only solution to this whole debacle is to completely nix the game. What? Yes. Cut this sapling down before it grows into something uncontrollable. Then, instead of making it a fighting game, you make it a beat-em-up. A 3D One Punch Man beat-em-up? Yes! You just fight monsters that attack the city. That's the whole game! It's like Monster Hunter, except you have all these cool heroes with awesome powers. Imagine if you were able to play as Watchdog Man, or Metal Knight, or even Pretty Pretty Prisoner! Because we all know they have no chance of making it into the fighting game. Yeah, duking it out with monsters eight times your size with so many of those characters would be f***ing awesome. Plus, it would be a great chance to introduce the other class C heroes that are lesser known and also have no chance of being in the fighting game. Yeah, you know Moomin Rider, but do you know any other class C heroes? If you do, you definitely look them up. Then, after the game has ended and you did some other clear conditions, you unlock... Saitama. Wait, he's not a starting character? No because of the exact reason we don't want a fighting game. The whole game would be easy mode. It's like if they made a real power balanced Dragon Ball Z game, Goku would always win. But here, in the beat em up the fans want, Saitama is easy mode. Decking monsters with critical hits, killing most in one hit. But by then you might just get as bored as he is throughout most of season two. That would be part of the point. Finding your own excitement in battles, turning up the difficulty so they may entertain you. Taking on Boros in super duper hard mode because now you know you can do it with Saitama. Would the difficulties follow the hero classes C, B, A, and then S? Yes. Then after you unlock Saitama, you get the super duper hard mode. Man, imagine if that was the game in the trailer instead of this future failure. Alas, James. From here, we can only warn others about this and prepare for the oncoming truck full of harsh words, arguments, and inevitably bad reviews. Can I also prepare a series of I told you so's? Don't. That fire needs no more kerosene from you. But I already have our next video plan, the National Dex, and why we never needed it. We're not doing that. What about the perfect game, Mighty Number no. 9? Definitely not. Ooh, how about Overwatch is already balanced? You should stop. Memes and their benefits? No! Hey, thank you for watching. Remember to like this video and share it with your friends. Then, when you have a big enough group of people, yell at us in the comments about how wrong we are and how this One Punch Man game will be great, even though it won't. We know it, you know it, they know it. Instead of arguing, tell us which hero from One Punch Man is your favorite. Mine is Moomin Rider. James's favorite is... Uh, who knows. Tell us yours! Alright, bye.